Hi, I'm Peter Haddock, and I'm really reaching new heights with Metso Auto Tech here and Humo, where we're talking about your latest product you've got here at Con Expo, and it certainly is a beast that we see behind us. We've come up two stories high to see the top of this, folks. Humo, tell me about the product we've got there, and then the proposition is what that's about for the customer. Thanks, Peter. Hey, guys, nice to see, see you over there on the other side of the lens. Behind me is one of our best selling, the industry leading primary jaw crusher of Metso Autotech, or Metso as we say. It's a Locotrack LT120, capable of crushing stones from, you know, 600 millimeters down. What you see behind is, is like actually the rear end or the front end. It's a feeder of the machine and then the material actually flows down into the famous C120 crusher and up until the end of the discharge uh, conveyor. And Kimo, this is a really important product for you at Metso. I mean, it is your sort of main product you're known for. Now, you've been using the CAT engines inside this product for some time now. It needs a lot of power to do that crushing, doesn't it? And, you know, all of the, 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 the whole system at the heart of that is that powertrain, isn't it? So tell me a little bit about the engine and, and what it's okay. capable of doing. Actually true, you are right with the power because when you, when you cross the stones, you know it's a hard job. Yeah. All the power is coming from the engine and we've been using Caterpillar engines for decades. The stone crusher on tracks actually was invented by us about 40 years ago. It's a customer, right. customer invention, yeah. And since that, we've been making these with the Caterpillar engine. And this particular machine, we have more than 400 horsepower to run this thing. And we have even bigger machines uh, for up until C18 engine, 500 horsepower and so. But also the small ones. The smallest ones are running with the C3.6 uh, engine. So all the way through, but the power is needed. But the good thing of this uh, design of ours is that we consume as less power as you know is required right so you've got a certain amount of, of stone in there it's not so not so big that you're crushing down you don't need as much power within the in the body of the machine absolutely and the caterpillar engine actually provides us the range of powers in order to process the material through with the less effort possible so chemo when we're looking at all of the components of, of this particular machine okay, it's good. doing a lot of work and and it's actually the way in which you balance the that load when you're doing the work for the different customers with different types of material that they're crushing from you know really hard rock to softer rocks and things like that as well isn't it that's true that's true and actually this machine does not the work all alone we can have several of these machines in the, in a row yep. and they talk to each other with the telemetry right. and they adjust the needed power accordingly. So in, that actually enables us to use just the minimum effort yep. to do the job. And with having that train out there, you can really be quite flexible. You can move the whole train to different parts of the quarry, for example, so that people are bringing the material the shortest distance to then get crushed, which again is another big cost saving, isn't it? Because if you've got to move material a lot into the crusher, then you're using more energy, you're using more of the equipment time, and therefore you're actually adding cost in all the way, aren't you? Absolutely, this is the whole essence of the mobility. Yep. You know, you need to move the machines occasionally when you, when you blow the stones, yep. do the blast, you reverse, then you go back, you do the service, whatever. That's why the mobility is needed. You do the transport. Yep. Yeah. And, and the whole essence of the business is to make that as profitable and as easy to the customer as possible. And one of the things that's really important, folks, is you said that there is serviceability. You know, so it's, it's getting that design right. Mm -hmm. And I, you talked to me earlier about how you were actually working with the CAT engine team to design the engine and the latest stage five engine into this machine. And that putting it all together is really important, isn't it? That whole design and being able to get in and out to service the actual usage of the machine on an ongoing basis. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Again, you get all these things right, Peter. That's great. <laughs> I mean, obviously we have a good relationship to the CAT engineering yep. and our engineering when we do the power unit design. 
and we we have these audited by by uh, cat oh, cat right. yeah yeah cat okay. distributor avesco in finland is doing that for us right of course we have direct contacts to to the uh, factories in texas and and, and england yeah uh, texas usa and so so it's all about mingling this technology with our technology i mean of course we have can bus yep. controlled machine with our own control system which needs to speak to the caterpillar system and yeah, vice yeah. versa yeah, 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 yeah. so it's it's kind of a great combination that these the, we get best out of the systems with the combination of that i think it's all about this sort of connected worksite approach really for me when you've got all that connectivity you can see the engines talking to you the systems are talking to you you can see when you can have planned maintenance planned downtime you can do that engineering work when those machines are being moved away from the face so it's all about keeping the flow of materials being crushed and therefore keeping that value and that profitability for the customer isn't it at the yes. end of the day uptime is the most important thing yep and uptime uptime comes from reliability yep. capacity and you know all these things need to work together and this is where we are the best in the market one of the things about the collaboration between CAT and METSO which really impressed me is how you're actually delivering a more of a solution for your customers. So it's almost how they can feel about per hour or per project the cost of doing their job and their business. That's a, that's a hugely big thing for you at METSO, isn't it? Tell me how it works and how you've worked with CAT to develop a new solution that delivers that sort of reliability and uptime and the guarantees that the product is going to be in action. Yeah, a product is a product, yep. but then there's a solution providers and we are one of those. Right. So the complete package through us. Aftermarket service is one integral, very important part of this business. Yeah. How you get your machine serviced and overhauled. And we are now working with Caterpillar to have Caterpillar coverage for engine. Right, okay. Purchased through us, so that's one-stop strategy for customer to buy this service through us, integrate it to, directly to the Caterpillar system and get you know, engine lifetime coverage through us to your Caterpillar product. I think that's a great, great opportunity for customers, but also for us to, to keep the service to the customers. I think you're right. I think, you know, when you look at the value proposition of something, if you keep an engine in tip-top condition, if you keep the components in good condition, you can do that, Caterpillar dealers can do that. What you do then have is longevity of the equipment. And you even have the sense when it gets to the end of the life in that particular customer, then they've got that value and, and, and they can see all the work that's been done. So the residual value is really good. And of course, folks, we've got machines like this, rebuild engines and remanufactured um, then brought back to, to life again from the original state that they arrived on site as well, isn't it? It's really it, important. It's like that, and, and, and for the, for the, if you were an operator or a customer, yeah. you would understand how important it is to, to follow your product capabilities and maintenance and, and lifestyle throughout the life circle of the machine. Yeah. Uh, to, to kind of uh, estimate and predict do the services in the right time, have the coverage there if something happens. You can manage your business in a quite clever and, you know, efficient, way, efficient yeah. way. And you also, what's really important, folks, you also know with a package and solution like that, you know what your costs are. Absolutely. So you, you, you've got your costs of your machine, your service and everything else yeah. in one package with a combination from yourself all the way through with Caterpillar, and it's one payment yeah for the business and off it goes. We know how we're running, we that's, know the profitability, and we know that we've got that coverage, which is really a, important. That's isn't a it? security for your business, you know. And that's why it's really important, folks, when you're looking at purchasing a piece of equipment, that you look at that whole life cycle cost, you look at that journey and you see who can support you on that journey. And it's Kimo and his team here at Metso, they're doing that great job. Great to meet you, Kimo. Thanks ever so much. And Thanks. I hope to see you sometime in the future uh, when I visit Finland in, and, and come and see you in the factory, I hope. Come to visit us. Welcome to Finland. Cheers. Cheers.